I don't know, men seem to want to fight. There was not much thought given to a listing. Uh, I didn't even ask my parents. Back in those days, that was, that was your duty. <laughs> you didn't run and hide, you joined them and away you went. You're young and you do it and you, you do it reasonably well without much trouble. It's, it's looking back on it that's kind of shakes you up. They sent me to Camp Walter, Texas and uh, I trained for uh, tank destroyers. We had two machine guns set up, one was covering a rice paddy and the other was covering a road and that's the one that I was with. I don't remember where I was at, but, but it's the Japs come in there and dropped a hand grenade and the sergeant holding and reached down and threw it out and he blew his hand off. And he sent me alone back through the jungle to get some help. The gun captain had earphones and he hollered and said that we're dead in the water. So I immediately opened up the hatch on the other port side and look down and here's a jack plane just hitting right alongside of me. The first day we made uh, about five mile beachhead. We lost a lot of men there. Lots of men. They had, the Germans had the floating mines and these Hagen boats that we went in on, they hit them there and they'd just blow them. And they was boys hollering help and, and I'll never forget that. It was hard, but you didn't think of it as being hard at the time. It was necessary. Yeah, and some feeling that when you can wake up, you know, I was standing there looking out the window one day and a rooster crowed, and I can remember way back when I was a kid, but the island, all that stuff there was, those islands was gone, it was wiped out for some reason or other. I just think how foolish all these wars have been, how stupid they are, how many people are affected by them. <laughs>